and good day. Today we're having a quick look at this. This is a 3D printed temperature tower and you're probably asking why would I waste my time and plastic printing one of these things out. Well they are an absolute must if you have a brand new spool of filament and you're not certain what the temperature uh, to set your extruder at. Now this particular one does range from 240 degrees through to 160. I cut mine off at 180. Okay, here we are. We're on the Thingiverse uh, website and we've typed in temperature tower, which you can see right there. There's quite a few different ones to choose from. I've chosen this top one here, but uh, we'll scroll through and have a look at a couple. So you can sort of see there's uh, plenty of different varieties here for you to um, choose from if you don't like the one I've gone with which is this one up here which is the better temperature tower as you can see it's uh, range between 240 and 160 degrees Celsius this is the one I've gone and uh, downloaded there's also a 200 by a 160 um, centigrade model as well and what I like about this particular one is as you scroll down a little bit further down the page you've got a temperature range so you can actually set them um, with your slices so that each of the layers has got the correct temperature uh, start point so it makes it very nice for calibration. I'll have a link uh, directly below for those interested anyway. Um, and let's get on with the uh, rest of the video. Here is the ESUN uh, PLA Plus, the temperature range. You can see it there quite clearly. Today I'm printing a uh, heat tower so I can calibrate my filament correctly. We're now on to the uh, next layer, 235. We're on the 230. Okay, we're now at the um, 225 mark. They are still printing nicely. We're now printing the 220 degree mark. Just started the 215 degree layer. We're on the 210 degree level. We're just starting on a 205 degree mark. Starting on the 200 degree layer. Now printing the 195 degree layer. Now starting the 190 degree layer. 185 degrees. I'm going to manually stop the print at this point at 180 degrees. Um, I believe it's out, the, out of the range of the filament, uh, even though it looks like it's still printing okay. I don't want to put undue stress on my um, little extruder. The eSun filament that I have is showing a temperature range of 205 to 225 as being the preferred range. Now, printing one of these little beauties out you can actually check each of the layers with the temperature and you can see which actually suits your extruder because every extruder is different they're all not um, calibrated quite the same so you will get variances and uh, this is a brilliant way of actually making certain that you can use it now if I bring that up you can sort of see along the side there how the print looks there, swing it over, bring it in a bit closer and again you can check each of the layers. But this uh, method will work on any printer at all and I really really recommend that you actually print out at least one temperature tower per new spool so you know the range that you're going to be printing at rather than waste a uh, heap of plastic thinking that you've got the range set correctly and uh, you get maybe separation uh, between the layers because you've got the 
temperature too cold or you're, you're getting uh, you know, lots of stringing and God knows what because it's overheating so it's important to get it set at the correct temperature and this is the only way to do it properly.